It's Tuesday, June 8th, 2021. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for your journey today. Our devotion today is entitled, When Time Stops and Judgment Doesn't, and our scripture is Revelation chapter 20. When the thousand years come to an end, Satan will be let out of his prison. He will go out to deceive the nations called Gog and Magog in every corner of the earth. He will gather them together for battle, a mighty army as numberless as sand along the seashore. And I saw them as they went up on the broad plain of the earth and surrounded God's people in the beloved city. But fire from heaven came down on the attacking armies and consumed them. Then the devil who had deceived them was thrown into the fiery lake of burning sulfur, joining the beast and the false prophet. There they will be tormented day and night forever and ever. And I saw a great white throne and the one sitting on it. The earth and the sky fled from his presence, but they found no place to hide. I saw the dead, both great and small, standing before God's throne. And the books were opened, including the book of life, and the dead were judged according to what they had done, as recorded in the books. The sea gave up its dead, and death and the grave gave up their dead, and all were judged according to their deeds. Then death and the grave were thrown into the lake of fire. This lake of fire is the second death, and anyone whose name was not found recorded in the book of life was thrown into the lake of fire. The apocalyptic prophecy of God, written in this final book of God's Word, declares the eventual disposition of evil, forever punishment in the lake of fire, a burning torment, an image that ought to produce jaw-dropping awe. For a human context, I immediately recall Saddam Hussein, a despotic madman, visiting unchecked decades of evil on his own people, murder, arrogant imposition of poverty, the work of a man gone insane with absolute power. Pursued by an army, Sodom was ferreted out of a hole in the ground and hanged. Now where this analogy breaks down is the aftermath. Sodom is gone, his body buried in 2006 in a grave not far from where he was born in Tikrit. In a hundred years, most every work of his hand on this earth will be forgotten. But what of his soul? What of that part of his being created in the image of God which still exists? And what is that like now? And what will it be in a hundred or a thousand or ten billion years? The answer is fraught with some gray area, certainly, but God does not leave us without understanding that evil is punished, not simply for a brief season, it is eternal. And the moment the word eternal is uttered, the game clock shatters, stopped by divine fiat. In much the same way as those who live in the grace of God also mirror the image of their Creator, those who choose to reject God live in the image of the chief rejecter, Lucifer. And the fate that awaits their judgment is a shout from heaven, pronouncing their eternal residence in the lake of fire. Scripture calls this fate of those who separate themselves from worshiping God the second death. No human can look into the eyes of another human and declare lostness. That judgment is reserved for God alone. But the fact that we cannot judge each other does not negate the reality of that judgment. Hear the word of God on this. Hebrews chapter 9. And just as each person is destined to die once, and after that comes judgment. For you today, eternal judgment for sin means time stops, but we don't. The eternal day of those who live in the light is mirrored by the eternal night of those under judgment. May we spend our lives pointing others to the light, the joy of Christ, who is the only escape from the wrath to come. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.